Namaste to everyone and welcome. Some of you may know that I have been associated with this school for more than forty years. In the early years, for twenty-five years or so, I was teaching yoga. After that I graduated and I'm teaching young kids. And I'm teaching young kids to become more intelligent. Raising intelligent kids, that's the title of the course. Very few. The reason I thought after stud studying education systems in about two dozen countries that uh, except one or two small countries, education system in nearly all countries, including India, to a lesser extent, needs basic fundamental reforms. Because what is taught is object knowledge, self-awareness is missing. What is taught is about profit now, in the future is missing. What is taught is about objective world, physical material world, but intellectual superior world is by and large missing. And as we have seen, over the decades that all the problems in the world that may be environment, that may be poverty, that may be conflict, war, uh, exploitation, all of that is because of one reason. That is dimming of intelligence in human society. And the only one solution is increase in intelligence. Farsightedness, creativity, original thinking, not box thinking or fixed thinking or locked in a box. So we all are in some ways kind of locked into our ideas that are given to us that we haven't learned. And we are also going through education systems which have a very fixed curriculum, fixed knowledge, fixed standards, fixed examination, etc. And Children's individual capability, individual talent and vision gets ignored. And most of the time in the school system, kids remain in stress. In some countries, big stress. And even parents and families are in stress. During exams, they can't sleep, they can't rest. So, we are trying to start in a small way. And my formula is, 1% of 1% of 1% of population is good enough to change society. So with that introduction, I will present three of my students and they have prepared short speeches on very important topics. The last presentation is by Samaya Rai Sharma and that sort of sums up or the culmination of mental growth and lack of growth, the distinction between fixed mind and growth mind. Samaya Rasharma. Namaste. My name is Samaya Rai Sharma, and today I'd like to explain the importance of having a growth mindset. Having a growth mindset is believing that your basic qualities, like intelligence and talent, can be changed or developed. When you have a growth mindset, you are adaptable and acknowledge that there is much more to learn and other perspectives to consider. A growth mindset is the opposite of a fixed mindset, which can be very dangerous and does not allow for creativity, open-mindedness, and overall well-being. When you are fixed in the way you think, there is no room for growth or expanding yourself. You don't learn from your mistakes or take any criticism or feedback well. People who have a growth mindset are more resilient and motivated and well-liked by others. This helps in any interactions you have with family, friends, at school, or work. It's important to develop a growth mindset from a young age so that you can do well in school and have good friendships, but also do better as a professional and have better interactions in general. Thinking in this way also helps solve the problems of humanity. As Albert Einstein said, we cannot solve a problem with the same mind that created it. So it's important to be receptive to and open to change your own way of thinking. For kids and teens also, it is important to know that growth mindset keeps you calmer, less stressed and more responsible. You focus on the progress you're making rather than just the result and keep growing and learning. This is a valuable way of thinking and essential for success and happiness for us all. Thank you for listening and let us all hope to develop a growth mindset. Thank you all for listening and I hope you will carry these messages to all the children in your family and friendship because children are our future. 
Thank you.